Do you wanna see what the uterus, tubes, and ovaries look like inside of a real living person? Well, I'm about to show you a video of a laparoscopic procedure where the camera goes into the abdo abdomen so that you can see what it looks like. Now, this is a non-pregnant uterus, so you're gonna see the fundus, or the very top part of the uterus, followed by the body of the uterus, and then the cervix, which is down deeper into the pelvis and into the vagina. The next thing you're gonna show us are the ovaries, which are behind the uterus, kind of back towards our spine, alongside uh, with the fallopian tubes. And there's the different portions of the fallopian tubes, which include the isthmus, the ampulla, the infundibulum, and then the fimbria. And the fimbria pick up the released eggs from the ovaries during ovulation. The round ligaments, we'll talk about that in a second. And then you also see some median umbilical ligaments, the posterior cul-de-sac, the uterosacral ligaments, and then the IP or infundibular pelvic ligaments. A few things I want to uh, point out about the anatomy. First, the round ligaments. The round ligaments are those ligaments when someone's pregnant and the uterus starts getting bigger and you start feeling that stretching and pulling on the sides. That's what you're feeling. Those feeling those ligaments are starting to get stretched and pulled, and that's what's called round ligament pain. Um, then, if you see the ovaries and the fallopian tubes, they're kind of tucked back behind the uterus towards your spine, so you can see why and how when you ovulate every month or an egg is released, that fallopian tube and the fimbria can pick up that egg very easily because the fallopian tubes are right there. Now, if someone is missing an ovary, there is the theoretical or the possibility that the fallopian tube from the opposite side could pick up the egg from the other ovary and vice versa. Or if you're missing a fallopian tube on that side, um, the a fimbria from the other fallopian tube could potentially pick up the egg from the opposite ovary if that was where the ovulation occurred. Um, you could also see where ectopic pregnancies could occur, which most of them, 90 plus percent, are in the fallopian tubes and along the different uh, areas of the fallopian tube. And then you see the cul-de-sac. The cul-de-sac is that area down deep behind the uterus and the cervix between the rectum and the uh, uterus and cervix. Um, that is also an area where endometriosis might occur along those uterosacral ligaments. So you can kind of see how everything is in close proximity. In front of the uterus, and you can't see it, is where the bladder is. Um, and that's attached lower on the uterus. So the bladder, the uterus, cervix, uh, the rectum, all of that are in such close proximity. So I thought this was cool to show everyone what it actually looks like because all we usually see are, are, is what's on paper and in textbooks.